da -da -da. You guys, today we are taking my super duper popular low fat, um, low calorie per serving, vegan oil free cheese sauce, and we're making it even lower in calories, even lower in fat without using white beans. I know, how are we gonna do that? With this stuff right here. We're using this PB2 cashew powder. Yes, cashew powder. So excited about this. I shared um, this little hack, let's call it a hack, on Instagram, in my stories one day. You guys went nuts and loved it and have been asking me to do a YouTube video on how I sub out the cashews for this cheese sauce with the powder. And so today, we are gonna do that. Now, many of y'all know, um, I've, I've shared the option of making this sauce even lower in fat, even lower in calories by subbing out the cashews with white beans. You can do that with a ton of things, really, because white beans have such a subtle flavor. You don't really taste it that much, so it works great. The only thing is, Yes, it does change the flavor of this cheese sauce, which is really good. It also leaves a little bit of a gritty flavor. It's okay, some of you like it. I've used it many times, um, you know, instead of cashews, and it's great. However, how awesome to get to use cashew powder, okay? To get to lower the fat and calories with cashew powder that is, you know, that has the oil pretty much pressed out of these cashews, so it's lower in fat, lower in calories. Um, how great to use this instead of the white beans. The texture is like it's supposed to be when you use regular cashews. The flavor is like it's supposed to be. It's just awesome. So. I'm sure you don't want to hear me talk about much more how awesome this is. You'd rather me just show you how I'm doing it, how much I'm using. Let's go ahead and get at it. Okay, but before we do, I just want to say hi to those of you who are probably new here. My name is Tia, and here on this channel, I just love to share with you um, easy tips and tricks on how I was able to switch over to a whole foods plant-based diet really easy with a non-vegan family, with non-vegan friends. Um, I tried for so long. And I just kept like thinking, oh, this is impossible, but it really wasn't. Once I kind of changed my mindset, it really was so easy. I got healthy, I lost 50 pounds of body fat, um, my life has completely turned around, and I want that for you. I want to make this easy. So if you think that that sounds interesting, why don't you go ahead, hit that subscribe button, stick around, we'll have so much fun. <laughs> And I will say this, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna be making a quick little lunch with the cheese sauce that's easy, filling, and you probably will like it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's make this sauce. I'm using my Vitamix here. And the first ingredient we're gonna do is half a cup of the PB2 cashew powder. I use a little less than half a cup. Then we're doing one and a half teaspoons of white miso paste, one tablespoon of lemon juice, a teaspoon of maple syrup. I do three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I don't put too much of this because I don't want it tasting very nutritional yeasty. Um, secret ingredient here is potato flakes. You want to just get plain potato flakes. It's so much easier than boiling an actual potato. Okay, so one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder. We're gonna do half a cup of water, half a cup of veggie broth, and mix that up. Oh, and um, I do about one teaspoon of turmeric as well. So mix that up to the consistency you like. If it's not thick enough, you can add a little bit more potato flakes. Um, with the Vitamix, you can actually mix for five minutes until it is heated. It's awesome. Um, and here we go. So delicious. Okay, what do you think? Shall we try this? I mean, I, I pretty much know what it's, it's going to be good, but um, I think it's more fun to do it with you. Mm. I, I really cannot tell a difference between using the lower fat, lower calorie cashew powder versus the cashews. And that's what I love about this powder versus using the white beans is that, yes, the white beans make this extremely low in fat, almost no fat. 
and a lot lower in calories, but the texture and the flavor is just off a little bit, and that's okay. But having the option of the PB2 cashew powder just totally changes things. Um, and not just for cheese sauce, for baking things, for making other sauces. Those of you who have my Saucy Vegan Mama cookbook, guess what? All of the recipes that have cashews in there, you can use the cashew powder. You can sub the cashew powder instead, and that makes me super excited. I've actually been going through all the different sauces in Saucy Vegan Mama and subbing cashew powder, and again, can't tell the difference. So delicious, but lower in fat and lower in calories. Now, I do want you to keep in mind something. If you go ahead and eat this whole jar, it's not gonna be low in fat, and it's not gonna be low in calories, okay? When I use cheese sauce, I typically use about three to four tablespoons at a time. That Whether that be on um, tacos, if I'm making um, rice, broccoli, and cheese, you know, like a cheesy rice broccoli dish, I usually use about three to four tablespoons. You make in a pizza and need some cheese on top, use this. Potatoes, I use this. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to share with you um, this little vegan, low-fat cheese sauce hack. Let's call it a hack, shall we? All right, so let's make my favorite cheesy rice and broccoli. It's my favorite right now, at least. I'm using my Instant Pot, but you don't have to. You can just throw all this in a pot. I'm doing one whole bag of frozen broccoli. Can I eat all this? Yes, and I absolutely will. If you're new to this way of life, maybe don't eat a whole bag of frozen broccoli because you might be... Um, a little disturbed by all the fiber, but I'm used to it. I'm not. Um, I also add in one cup of frozen rice, and I cook this uh, for four minutes. When it's done, I manual, manually release, add about four tablespoons of cheese, and delicious. You see this? Do you see how much food that is? This is a big bowl. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Always a go-to when I want to have cheese sauce, uh, but really just... It's such a good, satisfying, feeling meal. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go eat it. <laughs> All right. So that is it for me today. It is Sunday. Uh, we got a lot going on, and I also have to clean up these dishes. But I appreciate you guys being here and watching this video. Drop a comment below and let me know if you have tried my cheese sauce before. Um, I know many of y'all have and love it. But let me know if you try it with this PB2 cashew powder hack and what you think about it. Okay, you guys have a great week and I'll be seeing you next Monday. Bye! So take this love and try to make it new.